Hello dear students. In today's video, we are going to determine the thermoelectric power of various thermocouples in the virtual laboratory. And to do this, we will as usual go to the Amrita Vishwavidya Pitham website and use their virtual lab. When we come to this particular experiment in their website, they are actually offering us the experiment in terms of finding out the Seebeck effect or to verify the Seebeck effect. However, we wish to actually calculate the thermoelectric power as well. So, how can we use this particular experimental setup in their virtual laboratory to find out the thermoelectric power? I will be showing you that in this video as well. But before we go to the experimental setup, let me first explain to you what is the meaning of thermoelectric power. Thermoelectric power by definition is the rate of change of thermo EMF of a thermocouple to temperature. Or mathematically we can write thermoelectric power is equal to dE dt where E is the thermo EMF and T is the temperature. And how do we calculate that? If we can plot a graph of thermo EMF versus temperature then the slope of that plot is nothing but the so-called thermoelectric power. So with this knowledge in our mind, let us begin the experiment. Let's go to the website now. So this is the website or the page from where we are going to perform the experiment. Now after reading the theory and procedure, we will then go to the simulator page. And dear students, can you see that many of you, when you log into these kind of websites and want to do the experiment, they ask you to enable the flash player. So before I tell you how to do the experiment, I thought that today I will show you how you can enable the flash player on your laptop or PCs. So please follow the steps carefully. Once you have seen this kind of a message, please take your cursor to this part of the address. Can you see this not secure part? I am going to click this and now you will see that the flash in this particular page has been blocked. So from here I will change the settings to allow. And once I have done this, I am again going to refresh the page and you will see that the experimental setup is right in front of our eyes. Now let us begin our experiment. In order to do this experiment, as you all can see, that there are two different thermocouples. One is placed in the cold path and the other is placed in the hot path. So what essentially we do is we increase the temperature of the hot path, thereby increasing the temperature of the thermocouple. And hence we create a temperature difference between these two thermocouples. And as a result, an EMF is generated, which we are going to record from this voltmeter. Remember students, this voltmeter is actually a millivoltmeter and all the readings that we are going to get over here will be in millivolts. Now it is time for us to choose the thermocouple type. From here, we can choose any of our desired type of thermocouple. I am going to show you this with the help of a type J thermocouple. Once we have selected the type J, from this hot temperature slider, we can increase the temperature and then see the reading in the voltmeter. Now before we actually do this, I would ask you to prepare a table. What kind of a table I am going to show you in a couple of seconds. First let me show you how to do the experiment. So using the slider, we will increase the temperature to say 100 degrees Celsius or somewhere close. Say 103. The moment we have set this temperature, you will see that once the temperature of the hot bath has reached 103, the value of EMF generated is seen from the voltmeter which is 5.432. Remember this is 5.432 millivolts. We will note this down. Once this step is taken, done, we can again increase the temperature to say 207. Once again, the moment the temperature of the hot bath is 207, we will note down what is the thermo EMF generated. 
like this by varying the temperature of the hot bath by selecting our desired temperature from this hot temperature slider we will note down the various thermo emfs generated and then we will note down all these in our table now see the type of table that i have prepared over here the thermocouple that we have used here is j type the temperature of the cold junction has been maintained at 0 degree celsius and in column 1 i have noted down all the temperatures of hot junction these are the values which i have set from the slider and once the temperature of the hot junction has reached this this these were the values of the thermo emfs generated however students remember that this thermo emf has been caused because of the difference in the temperatures of the two thermocouples namely the hot one and the cold one in our case since the cold one is maintained at 0 degree celsius the temperature difference is exactly equal to whatever is the hot junction temperature however if you were performing this experiment uh, with some other temperature of the cold bath say room temperature then this temperature difference would be 100 minus say 30 degree celsius which is equal to 70 degree celsius and so on so actually the cause of this thermo emf is the temperature difference and hence why we are plotting the graph we are going to keep this temperature difference value in the x axis and thermo emf in the y axis now i will show you how to plot the graph in excel only so first we will highlight these data that we want to plot go to the insert tab once you have come to the insert tab you will see that there are various types of graphs that we can plot choose this scatter plot and you will see that the graph has been plotted for us once again let me repeat the step so this is the graph that has been plotted for us all right but remember i told you that in order to get the thermoelectric power we need to find out the slope of this graph so how can i calculate the slope from this particular graph take your cursor to any one of the data points and right click over it the moment you have right clicked you will see that there are various options possible to us come to this add trend line and click over it the moment you have clicked this add trend line you will see that there are various kinds of options now dear students this thermoelectric power actually follows a linear nature so we will be choosing the linear trend line and once you have selected this linear trend line you will see the dotted graph the dotted line coming in front of our eyes and then just click this display equation on chart the moment we have chosen this display of the equation on the chart you will see that there is a number which has come up in front of our eyes you will see it is something like y is equal to a number into x minus another number which means nothing but y is equal to mx plus c the equation of a straight line and the slope of this particular graph will be nothing but that m value isn't it so from here as you can see this m value has been given to us over here equal to 0.0586 and remember all our data was in millivolts so eventually the thermoelectric power is 0.0586 millivolts per degree celsius and i have converted this to 58 microvolts per degree celsius so the experiment that we have done in our virtual laboratory using a j type thermocouple the result of the thermoelectric power that we have cal calculated is that its thermoelectric power is 58 microvolts per degree celsius or for a temperature difference of 1 degree celsius this j type thermocouple can produce 58 microvolts all right like this 
you can change the thermocouple type to various others repeat the experiment and calculate their respective thermocouples thermoelectric powers and hence depending on your choice of which type of thermocouple you choose you will have the value of its thermoelectric power so we can perform this experiment very easily do the calculation using an excel sheet and have our desired result so that is all for this particular video i hope this was helpful for you all to perform this experiment easily i will see you all soon in a next video bye bye students take care